Hey folks, welcome back. Welcome back to what I'm calling part two of my Prime 6 Charcoal uh, just review and test and see how we can do on this. If you didn't see the first part of this, I'll, I'll put a link right up above here to some ribeyes. Turned out really good. Now we're going to slow it down and do a rack of ribs. Uh, pretty basic cook that I've done many times. I'm going to use the Prime 6 and see if we can't do a low and slow on this. Get a little smoke rolling take a few hours and see how well this charcoal does. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use the leftover charcoal from that prime rib cook. They say we can reuse it. We're going to try it. We're going to go right off the bat. We're going for it. And I think it's going to work out fine. Let's get going, guys. As you can see, I got my smaller chimney. I'm not going to use as much charcoal. I got one pan for my Weber kettle here. And that's all we're going to use. And look at these big chunks of charcoal I had left over. I'm gonna stand them up like before. I'm not sure how much to put in here, but we're gonna find out. We can always add more, right? Probably just do one more, I think that's all it's gonna fit. And that's what we're using. I guess as you can see I got eh, this is under a three pound it's not a very big rack of ribs it'll feed mama and I quite nicely and I'm just gonna come in here with some lean parents just uh, just as a binder or I don't always use a binder but kind of feel like it by the way I have went ahead and removed the membrane back here did that and trimmed up a little bit of the fat but I'm leaving most everything as you see it rub I'm using. I've used this before. Uh, I love this stuff. It's from Trade East. It's just their classic barbecue rub. It goes great on ribs, guys. Get a good, a good coat on here. The backside. Little Liam Perrins. Repeat. Sides real good, and don't forget the ends either. All right, we're gonna let this guy chill out here. When our fart comes up, we'll get it's on the grill. Oh, uh, yeah, we're looking good here. Let's get these in our pan. If I need more, I will definitely add more. For ease of cleanup, I'm gonna add a pan in here to help with some of the drippings. Straight in. I'm gonna adjust this down uh, a little. About half open, maybe. We're gonna let this come up a tent. Alright, guys, it is time. Time to get these bad boys on here. I'm gonna get them as far away. Doing this indirect. Look at that thing of beauty. All right, guys, because we are smoking, I got some oak wood here. I'm just going to drop one chunk in there. And I'll check back uh, probably about an hour. I'll be monitoring temps here. Oop, I almost forgot. Check that in there just so we can try to keep track of the temps over here on this side. All right, guys, let's take our first look. A little over an hour. We might be even closer to an hour and a half. Thing looks really good. I'm not gonna really do anything here. We're holding good temps, running right about uh, 225. Very impressive. Uh, when everything balanced out temperature-wise, I did sneak out here and add a couple pieces of charcoal. I'm gonna shake this off, get rid of any ash. You see me do that. Scoot that chunk of wood over, and I'm gonna add one more so we can keep the smoke rolling. We're holding good temps, so I'm not gonna change any of that. I'm gonna give us a spray to build that bark. This is just uh, apple juice and apple cider vinegar. 
I really need to upgrade my spray bottle. Looking good, guys. We'll keep her going. We'll check back in about an hour. All right, we are three hours in. See what I like everything I see. Three hours in. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this. I'm getting a little pull back over here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap these. Get these things all tendered up. That is a word in Kentucky, I promise you. Let's get this on over here. so we don't need any more wood. All right, I'm gonna check the ash out. Really not a whole lot of ash. As I tell you what, I've only added two pieces of charcoal this entire time. We're three hours in. Very, very impressed with this Prime 6 charcoal. All right, folks, we're about four and a half hours in. I just wanna check this thing out. Get some temps. Seems to be sweating out really good. We'll get some temps here, but I'm mostly kind of probing for tenderness. Very tender, like butter, don't hit the bone. Yeah, we're up 200 degrees. Not that I'm that worried about that, definitely. I'm gonna pull this out of the foil, and I'm gonna put it back on the rack. I'm gonna let the bark reset some. Uh, I know you don't have to, but I might even throw a little piece of wood on there just for a little added smoke. Get this off of here. Look at that. That is beautiful. Well, no, we don't have to, but just another piece of wood just for kicks and grin. We'll come back in just a bit and we'll glaze this. As always, we, we just use what we got on hand in the house. Some sweet baby rays, uh, sugar free, uh, which I like, and a little hickory flavor there. Uh, assuming it'll go well here. Butimus, butimus. I'm gonna do this a couple times here off camera and I'll come back and get these things off of here. Let's get this thing off of here and on our cutting board. Hey guys, this uh, <laughs> beautiful rack of ribs. Uh, Smells wonderful. I'm gonna get this inside and uh, get this cut up, get my family fed. Come back, we'll do a taste test. But I gotta tell you, this Prime 6 charcoal did well today. Uh, I started with a very small batch, as you've seen, and I added two, I think I added a third piece of charcoal about halfway through this cook, and that's all the charcoal we use. So uh, I don't know how many pieces that was, but uh, very little, and it held heat all the way till the end, the last 10, 15 minutes I noticed uh, some temperature drops and that's all we had guys so I'll be back here in just a minute we'll taste this Don't you look at this guys wow can't wait to get a bite of that all right guys I'll tell you what I got a little smoke ring there not as deep as I thought we'll work on that next time great cook guys I held temps great all day long let's try this uh, try this rib here I just it's pretty much falling off the bone Coats off real easy. Oh my god. That oak smoke. 
Mm. Great choice of wood. Great choice on ribs. I've done this many times. Mm. Guys, thanks so much. Mm. Finger licking. Wow. I tell you what, guys. It's a great meal here. I got some baked beans. Well, we whooped up inside. Coleslaw I just got from the local deli. Great dinner here planned. So guys, thank you so much. It did get warm today. Ooh, tell you what. I'm, I'm so happy I did this. I'm so happy and thanks to Prime 6 for uh, asking me to uh, do a little video on this and review the product because it's a great product. I'll be using more of this. Uh, it's very good. Uh, I probably got to, I probably got some learning to do on the charcoal. Uh, the only, I'm not even going to call it a negative because it does take longer to light. But once it's lit, it's hotter and it uh, stays lit longer. Uh, that I will say, uh, I will do some more learning on this and I'll be using more of it. Guys, uh, I'll put a link below to prime6.com uh, uh, and don't forget your coupon code, guys. Ken10 will get you 10% off. So, folks, till next video, God bless you, folks. Bye bye.